dry. Uh, so this wait. is, so remember, the la remember I said the lateral genic nucleus, is there two of them? The lateral, there are two lateral genic nuclei, one in each hemisphere, and each one receives information from both eyes because, uh, remember we've got, so we've got the eyeball, we've got two eyeballs, the information from the temporal hemiretina, does it stay ipsilateral or crossover? Cross temporal hemiretina stays ipsilateral. Nasal hemiretina crosses over. Nasal hemiretina crosses over. So over here, temporal hemiretina stays ipsilateral, and nasal hemiretina crosses over. So here at the level of the lateral geniculate nucleus, you've got information from both eyes, but only the information from the right side of the world. If I wave my hand over here, that's falling on the nasal hemiretina of this side and the temporal hemiretina of this side. So something flashing over here, the light is going to hit there and there. And that is going to be processed at the lateral geniculate nucleus. Within the lateral geniculate nucleus, we've got these six layers. The first two are magnocellular. The second two are parvocellular. Um, this is ipsilateral, so it's contra ipsi, ipsi contra ipsi contra. So that's ipsilateral, and that's ipsilateral. So this information is going to be processing ipsilateral information from the left eye in the left lateral genica nucleus. In the left lateral genica nucleus, though, you're also getting information from the right eye about the right side of the world. And I can't use red because that would be confusing. So this information is also going to go to the lateral genicular nucleus, and it's going to be processed down layers one, four, and six. Yes? Is the exact same thing happening on the other side? The exact thing but opposite. Which we, will, we, we, which we can do now. So over here, we've got information from the temporal <laughs> hemiretina. Is that going to stay ipsilateral or go contra? That's going to stay ipsilateral. The information from over here is going to cross over via the optic chiasm. So in this lateral geniculate nucleus, we're going to be processing information from the left side of the world. Each, the information from each eye that each eye gathered about the left side of the world. This lateral geniculate nucleus also has six layers. The first two are yes, magnocellular, and the next four are parvocellular. Which is going to be processing information from the rods? The magnocellular. Rods, movement, cones, detail. Parvo is small, it's piccolo. So Parvo is going to be processing detail and color. So here, the information is going to be going ipsy, ipsy, ipsy. And what's the color I haven't used yet? This is going to go there. Contra, contra, contra. So each <laughs> lateral genicate nucleus is going to be receiving information from both eyes, and at each level is going to be processing information from only one eye. The, in staying on this side, the left lateral genicate nucleus is going to be processing information from the left eye on levels two, three, and five, and the left lateral genicate nucleus is going to be processing information from the right eye on levels one, four, six. That's what you meant. Right.